Hi, my name is Matt and I'm an assistant horse trainer. Um, because of my experiences with being a jockey and track riding, um, I became an assistant trainer and to become a trainer in my later days when I'm ready. What a horse trainer does is they, they get a horse and uh, they basically um, prepare the horse, they get the horse fit, they educate them and, uh, and then they race the horse. To educate a horse you start from new, um, you teach the horse how to turn, stop, uh, respond to the rider and then we move on to slower work and then eventually to fast work when the horse is uh, fit enough to do it and then um, teach the horse how to jump out of the barriers and then we race the horse. As an assistant trainer I, I get my orders from the trainer I take the work board down to the stables. I organise what horses are doing what and what, are, what people are taking care of what horses. And uh, then from there we, we get into our routine. We feed the horses and then uh, we ride the horses. And after that we clean up and that's it. Um, we, f we finish at between 10 and 11 o'clock and then we start work up at about 3 o'clock until 4.30. During that we either go to sleep or go to the beach or go to town, shopping, whatever we want. Well we, we work early in the morning because uh, the horses get hot during the day and they, they sweat up and they stress out. And the afternoon we just uh, feed clean and uh, do the yards and that's about it. It's, I guess I'm always used to working on the farm and I'm always used to doing things with, with my hands so I do prefer to be outdoors. Uh, what I love about what I do is uh, the chance to ride um, really good horses and to go to the races and watch them win. There's, there's, no, there's no better feeling than watching a horse that you've started from scratch, got the horse fit and the horse doing well. It's, it's awesome. Uh, what I find challenging about what I do is some days it can get long when you have to go to the races. Um, you don't always win. And uh, yeah, but that's that's racing. Um, yeah, it, it is uh, disappointing, but um, but we always look forward for the next good horse that we can get fit and educate and win. That's what keeps driving us. My work environment: I work outside. Um, I work with, with between five to seven people. Um, some of the perks of my job is I get a good break during the day so I can do what I want. I get to go to the races. When horses do win, I sometimes get a sling from the, from the owners, which is fantastic. It's, it's not a great pay, it's, it's a love of the sport. Um, a key attribute to do this job successful, uh, outgoing, motivated, um, athletic, uh, competitive. I mean, in, in my life, race horses, the outside world, horses are just Oh, you know, oh, lovely horse, pat the horse, walking in a circle, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a business. They have a win or they're, see you later, they're gone. That's, that's it. It's, otherwise, that's just, you'll go broke. My future where I see myself going is I hope to become a trainer within the next couple of years and uh, train horses and that's it, have fun. Enjoy what I do. It is a family business. Um, when my dad retires, I hope that me and my brother will take over and I'll become the trainer. What attracted me to work in a regional area is it's more natural, it's outdoors. I have worked in the city, but I, would, I much prefer working, uh, working on the farm. Uh, the advice that I give to someone that is interested in coming into this industry is to seek out local trainers, uh, find a course at your local TAFE, also, uh, contact your local turf club. It's a great job. I get to work with horses, animals, and interact with people. It's a, it's a very social job. Um, I even get to meet famous people. If you're looking for a job that's fun and really exciting, then come to the racing industry.